Well, hello. Hello, rock hounds and crazy people. Today's uh, Friday, December 30th. Uh, last year, I was here December 13th. Crazy weather, 13 degrees. This is why I decided to kill some time before any other blizzard comes around. So, of course, I'm on the Montrose place. I'm in a uh, middle of the bush at the back of the mountain uh, everything everything is visible because snow kind of temporarily melted um, I found already a few cubes of fluorite so that's done but I just found this boulder here and I'm gonna just take this shot then I'm gonna flip it over uh, without taping because I am just by myself so it looks like it's promising because I knock off the bottom of it bottom of uh, and I find these fully terminated calcites in a, in those nests of of um, noodle noodle formations. And basically, this is all under here. I don't know if you can see anything there. Anyway, I'm gonna flip this and uh, dissect this rock piece by piece and see what I can find. Maybe it's gonna be worth sharing with you. Let's do it. After few minutes I managed to flip it over uh, as you can see it's very hollow everywhere so I'm gonna try to crack some some areas see what's going on Okay, let's see. Bunch of nothing. Let's see this end here. It's lots of spongy uh, deposits, which is obviously ancient ocean. So usually there's fluorite here too. Anyway, I ha can't work with one hand. Let me just smash this and see if there's anything good. So a little update, I'm, I think one third through the rock. So you can see that the zoning is kind of like, looks like there is a zone of this darker uh, rock with smell of oil, bitumen, I believe it's called. And this is where some uh, um, we call this orange mineral. So I have a few things that I found here. There's this combo of nice uh, calcite with spalerite, and there is this nice cube of of fluorite, which is kind of weird, almost like triangle-shaped diamond. And this one was attached to this darker rock. So I'm hoping because the cavities are starting to be more. Uh, hollow uh, deeper into the rock so let's hope for something better still well I have to say I um, I'm really enjoying myself it's not necessarily about uh, what I came here for which is fluoride but those for formations of the calcite in this uh, boulder are very interesting and even see that wave on top and then there is this attached uh, crystal of with, which I think has like a droplet of oil in it almost like an amber like color first I thought it was a smaller right but it's just a bizarre experience anyway that's a keeper because it's a conversation rock for sure like I said, I have some fluorites. Fluorites are all over the place. They're small and super clean. They almost look like Her Herkimer diamonds. So unfortunately, they are only this rebel. I'm not gonna pick them up, but uh, you know, I'm keep breaking those boulders to, into smaller pieces, and this keeps giving. And there is lots of this very well formed uh, lizard rosettes of spalerite. Which I'm kind of leaving behind because 
and there's also the calcites here and probably I didn't this one didn't even pick up yet anyway if you find boulder like this in this area it's so much fun and if the snow melted it's uh, all over the place they just you just have to be patient don't trip over those branches and there is quite a few homeless people here this day so don't crush their their yard I guess anyway I hope you enjoy this uh, I show you on the very end uh, all the stuff when it's cleaned up so time, time to go home <coughs> I had my fix for today. Uh, not many of those uh, happen during the winter, but of course, as every video, every YouTuber makes video about this, the best things I usually find on the way home. So I wasn't even starting to walk home yet. I'm still in the same place. And last piece, I was just about to leave. Last piece, <coughs> I turned around, and here it is big shoe box of the fluorite clear uh, but still very nice let's see my finger I cannot clean it so the trick is how you trim this so it doesn't pop out of the the nest well, I'm gonna try to trim some of it, but I think I, the rest I'm gonna take in a backpack and, and play with this at home. My stuff is there, I put it there because sometimes when you have your good stuff next to where you're working, the, the shards of rocks can fly into your good crystals and they toast. So that's just a little bit of pointer that I find it's uh, useful. This is really looks like apocalyptic uh, landscape, but it was much fun. So I made it home. I cleared some of my specimens, uh, trimmed them, and let's see what we found. So first, I wasn't really showing this uh, during the video in the field, but this is of course um, gypsum which is plenty of in that location uh, nothing spectacular but just big chunk of of uh, selenite gypsum um, this one is very interesting because when I crushed this is the trimmings of uh, rocks and when I crushed this one there was a blob of calcite, which is a good indication that it may be embedding uh, big fluoride crystals. And this is proof of that. This crystal is unfortunately broken, but you can see by the faces of it, it was quite a bit of size. And they do have a tinge of uh, purple when you take them home. I don't know if they're getting darker after they've broken or... or there's different reason uh, next one from there was this little I thought to take it little perched um, orange very nice color spalerite which is not necessarily the best uh, this is from different trip from there but you can find a spalerite of this size which is very nice and it was quite a bit of nice calcite after I trimmed. This one I keep I'm keeping it because it grows kind of kind of folds down, folds down flat and kind of is looking for exit from the cavity. And that's the point of it here. But some of them are a little more defined and they have a good color, like this honey gold champagne whatever you call it and of course the most important find from there for me that they ah, this one is very particular and unusual there's very tiny crystal here i don't know if my camera 
it's going to pick up it's a small cube of um, uh, fluoride which has very tiny deposit of um, oily substance on top so that deposit you can't really remove it looks like it's just somebody smeared some you know petroleum but it's just sitting there I thought it's very interesting so I took it and it's really delicate so I don't want to trim any more this this rock because probably it's gonna fall off and here this is the best one from there this is the fluoride that I found in this big rock on the end and this is what I'm proving I want to prove my point that when you put it against white there is a little bit of purple coming through don't you see don't you think well this one is in really perfect condition it's beautifully attached to the spongy coral and I was so happy when I trimmed it that it didn't fall apart and it's really one of the best from there that I that I found I could call them clear but more and more in my house looks purplish very tiny purple color to it yeah and that painting behind is uh, also my other hobby which is I take pictures of landscapes when I go and I try to use some paint and make make little paintings so this is area around Mount Nemo and I'm preparing a nice video for next time about unusual finds that I had so I have here prepared a little bit of teaser for next video I'm gonna be talking about Dog Lake the upside with nice little mica crystals Kingston area I'm gonna be talking about this is really something I'm really proud of is the chalcosite or calcosite from Perry Sound in a crystal form almost like a rosette form very green and shiny and I find those in the veins of nice crystals of quartz and I'm gonna be talking about um, of course um, fluoricharite from Wilberforce nice full crystals and I'm gonna be talking about how to fix and prepare little combos like this titanite with with uh, Altspar and this one is really ugly duckling color wise but it's pretty interesting formation of smart mine crude um, like I said pretty ugly but fascinating to me how they kind of inter grow together with um, false bars those appetites from there of course I don't have quality of appetites as Jeff has from of the beaten path but you know he has a special talent now this is molybdenite from Wilberforce too I'm gonna be talking about that too because my next video is gonna be about with combination of very short videos of very weird trips anyway I will show this one more time and we we'll talk to you next time I hope you have cabin fever as I do in the meantime before we go out we're gonna have to play with what we have until next video